I am so glad to be back here, right here on YouTube, and I honestly want to apologize to those of you that are my subscribers, as well as those of you who are um, uh, joining for the first time, and uh, I'm going to get to the meat of this uh, vlog in a second, which is uh, called the best rant on YouTube that you'll ever see, and I wanted to, first of all, let you know, yes, this is clickbait, but first of all, why haven't I been posting? Number one, I've just been super busy, and number two, I did try to post something related to Dragon Con uh, a couple weeks ago, but it didn't work out. When I went to upload it, after uh, pouring a lot of sweat and blood into editing, I ended up uh, finding a chunk of really important content that got cut off, so I need to go back and edit that again, and then of course, um, YouTube caught one of the songs that I put on there that I thought was real free when it was not. So, what I'd like to do now is um, get to the meat of um, this blog, and that's called uh, the most important rant that you'll ever see on YouTube. So, first and foremost, what you're gonna do is click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a uh, video that I did when I first started blogging about four years ago. Actually, I started five years ago, but Technically, um, I did this vlog over four years ago when I was in the middle of a period of unemployment. And I was uh, talking about uh, my frustrations of not having a job and sharing with you that I was uh, in a miserable position where um, I was uh, placed by a group of uh, uh, supported employment services or employment supports. and. They really did not do any good for me. They didn't, uh, they didn't teach me any new skills. They just put me onto a job or they just provided me a place to work and that was it. And I worked at a center where, or not a center, but I worked at a warehouse uh, where the people there, the personnel, were not very uh, trained to work with people who are different and they weren't understanding of people with invisible situations like myself. Say for instance, the boss there and some of the others thought that I was using my autism as an excuse. So anyway, uh, this is something that I have been wanting to talk about for the longest time. So it was while I was working there that uh, there were a number of uh, people there that had things like weddings, and they had housewarming parties, and they had children, they had uh, moved on to other jobs, and these people uh, you know, made time for each other, they made an effort for each other. The boss of that company uh, would bend over backwards and she would spend a lot of money on these people. I mean, sometimes she would go out and cater food for them, and she would, uh, go out to restaurants and pay for everybody's tab, you know, under one big bill, and then she would go and buy them expensive gifts. Well, when it came to me, I bought my condo in 2009, and I specifically uh, set a date for a housewarming party, and I wanted it to be really special, so I went ahead and I decided to uh, have a housewarming party and I did a save the date and I invited everybody from work because um, I went to a lot of their things. I got them gifts as well and despite the fact that I was unhappy at this company, they often told me that I was quote part of their family. Well, when it came to uh, people responding to my invitation or coming. Uh, I'd say 90% of the people uh, either uh, ignored the invitation and a few said no. And then uh, there were two people that said they were coming. One of them including a girl who was a friend and she didn't show up. Instead she made an excuse that she was going to come but uh, she was so upset about her grandmother uh, being in the hospital that she and her husband were going for a ride first and they just ended up driving. Well, 
this was even though I bent over backwards for her and um, she asked me to get her a present and I went out of my way I went all the way to Alabama and I had a ride to get there and she couldn't even bother to return the favor for me and then of course the boss herself who had a son with severe autism absolutely refused to come to my housewarming party she didn't even bother to say yes or no i mean she was one of the people that ignored it instead she uh, was very passive aggressive about it and uh, she never uh, got me any gifts instead she says the day before have fun at your party so, so that was her way of telling me no and so i expected a present like everybody else i expected her and the um, other people in the office to sign a card for me and then put it on my desk. And of course, I got no card from her and no card for anybody else. And then the other person who said he was coming, he didn't show up either. He, uh, quote, forgot because he had another project that he was working on and he got a chance to make some extra money. So uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because uh, I'm not alone. I mean, I don't know what the statistics are, but there's a large number of um, anybody with an invisible disability or with a label, or if you have some sort of stigma because you're quote, socially awkward, or you're an outsider, you're the odd person out, odd woman out, odd man out, whatever it is. And a lot of times people don't wanna to come to your things because of these stigmas and because you're socially awkward or they don't know how to act. And so it's obvious that uh, my coworkers at this job that I worked at before, they didn't know how to handle me because of uh, my invisible disability. And again, they just, they really weren't trained to uh, work with autistics. Back then it was uh, Asperger syndrome. I mean, I still use Aspie. Um, a lot of times I got made fun of. A lot of times I was uh, the class clown. A lot of times I was the joker. A lot of times I was the weirdo and all this other stuff. I mean, still, I mean, my feelings were hurt. And I mean, I have uh, gone to therapists and talked about this. I went on Wrong Planet and posted about this I mean, under two accounts. And by the way, uh, I impulsively, uh, at that time, I impulsively used uh, my real name because uh, the spelling is just so unique. But um, they ended up uh, finding out about it. But I wrote about everything that happened uh, following this uh, uh, being let down and by everybody at work and seeing the type of impartiality and the and the hurt that I faced and that, again that's because I uh, put my real name on there and as a result the boss uh, was just uh, furious with me she couldn't bother to say I'm sorry well, why didn't you come to me about it well honestly this boss that I worked with uh, had some issues with anger of her own and you couldn't even confront her. It was like walking on eggshells around her. I mean, she was an absolute basket case. And uh, she didn't say she was sorry. Everybody in the office was mad that I was, quote, gossiping about them. Well, I'll tell you another time, but those people who accuse me of gossiping gossiped about me all the time and they gossiped about other people and they spread ugly rumors and especially the girl who broke her promise about coming to my housewarming party and she uh, said that she was going to come and didn't because her uh, grandmother was in the hospital what a joke that was she told uh, other people behind my back um, ugly lies about me she told people that uh, she didn't want to come to my party because uh, I spent a lot of money on a, a detox program and because of that I had horrible diarrhea and I was stinking up the bathroom and would pop out, probably stink up my own condo and she didn't feel like smelling it. And she's, she also denied it that we were friends and later on she told people that uh, 
she never invited me to her wedding that I showed up uh, at the last minute uh, uninvited and that she put me on the guest book on purpose because um, she didn't want me bothering the other guests but she was too embarrassed to tell me because I'd come all the way out to Alabama just for her wedding because she didn't want to hurt my feelings so um, that was a really that was a no win-win situation and I've been heard about this for a long time and I know this is a long vlog but I wanted to mention something um, the reason why I bring this up is because um, what I just faced was a form of unfairness and that's what you call exclusion and nowadays uh, psychologists refer to exclusion as bullying and what my former boss and what the other people did by ignoring my invitation they that was disrespectful that was uh, called disrespecting me as a person and I know there are a lot of you that are autistics again that face things like stigmas and you face uh, other things I mean you want to be included you want to belong but you're an outsider because there are people like this group that just don't want to accept you for who you are and so for those of you that are employers that are hiring autistics I want to throw this out there uh, you are your um, autistic employees are just as equal as you are and they have a right to uh, have a wedding and get married they have a right to buy a house they have a right to um, do all these things like everybody else oh and that's another thing that happened uh, when i was in the process of buying the condo uh, some of the other people there and, uh, this was another adult with uh, mild cerebral palsy but he was a bully to other people with disabilities as well and he was another uh, member of the group that gossiped about other people and he did some other things that I don't agree with but I'm not gonna get into it when I was in the process of buying my condo and I showed him the pictures why are you getting a condo you're on social security I mean he didn't quite say it like that but it's just amazing how many people will stigmatize you and put you into a little box like that the way that they did and the way that they refused to come to my housewarming party and the way that they hurt my feelings I didn't think that I had feelings and didn't care that I cried and didn't care why in the world I was writing about them on those forums but anyway I wanted to talk about one more thing before I go so um, anyway, I opened a new account on Wrong Planet, and I'm not going to share what it is, but I will say this. So, since that incident, when my former boss and my former coworkers snooped into my business and put me on a guilt trip, and yet they gossiped about me all the time, uh, I wrote on Wrong Planet, and I have had a wide range of uh, answers from people some of them have been very cold and dismissive and some of them that really bother me are well that's cruel but they're not obligated to buy you things they're not obligated to get you to come to your party I'm sorry that you were hurt but that's just the way it is and it's like gee thanks and the reason why I put this out there is because my feelings were hurt and it is taking me a long time to recover from something because it's sad to see that uh, there are people out there that they're there for each other. But when you're an outsider and when you're a joke, these people could care less. When you're trying to live a normal life, when you want the same hopes and dreams, you have to fight tooth and nail to get it. And that includes a fighting tooth and nail to have friends. And sometimes you have to jump through people's hoops, especially when you're different. You have to kiss other people's butts. And, um, and it's sad to say that uh, individual who, the adult with cerebral palsy who made the comment about the social security, um, he had to kiss quite a few, few butts because uh, he was treated better than a lot of us that were in that program. And, they treated him more fairly than they treated me because he had a lot of connections in addition to having a physical disability. So, 
anyway, I am out of time, but if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to share this on your social media and uh, check out my social media, by the way, and check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. And also know that I'm trying really hard to uh, get my blogs going again. I mean, I wanna do more daily blogs and I wanna put more music in them. I promise this is the last one before uh, I put in more edited content. Bye.